Yoshimo! Yoshimo! Where are you, you weasely little thief? Very well. What have you done with all my equipment? I've looked all over for him and he's gone. I knew it. That sneaky little man took off with all my stuff when I wasn't looking. I will kill him. Kill him. Several times. And then, and then choke on him on his stolen equipment. <sighs> yes. Welcome back. We've come back to uh, Baldur's Gate Shadow Farm to discover, well... We kind of can take Yoshi can't take Yoshimo back into the party as he seems to have disappeared with all of our gear. I am not quite sure what happened to him. Well, actually, I am quite sure of what happened to him. But uh, I will, in the, I will, I will, I will actually enlighten you uh, uh, of that further ahead, shall we? Yes. So we are without Yoshimo now, so we might need to think about a replacement. Maybe we should give Hex a chance in the party. She is an evil thief. And maybe I haven't had her enough in the party to really uh, enjoy her, I guess. Uh, let me think. Uh, oh, why not? Why not give her a chance? Good night. Oh, okay. I've been just fan freaking tastic. You really should have seen me. I was quite remarkable and enraged. Is that an invitation? Yes. Believe it is. Now come with me. Once again. Uh, don't know if you put it like that. But have I had you in the first place? I must have missed that. If that should ever happen, you won't miss it. Believe me. Well, I look forward to it. Now, Not let us go. Think, but you may get there. So let's give a hack set a try. Now I'll need to equip her. What, uh, what do we have for her? I don't even know what my levels are in now. Oh yes, I made her kind of good in sneaking and trap finding, and so, uh, yeah, might need that. So, uh, mm, what weapons is she good at? Dagger, short sword, crossbow. Uh, well, let me think. Oh yes, I did bring along, uh, well... Due to, uh, I, I quickly stole back this little sword from uh, Yoshimo before he disappeared. So I guess this will do for her. We'll give her the shadow leather armor. And eventually a crossbow when I find one. Oh, I guess, I guess we can give her the sneak boots. Yes? Fine, fine. So, well, with the... Uh, that new party going, let's have some rest and go see what quest we'll do next. Um, that's probably discount, let's rest up. Also, I hope we can find a good crossbow for Actually, that reminds me, yes! I recently remembered that there is a special merchant here, yes, over here. Oh, Faconia is flirting again. How nice. Jerks her head away. Oh, well, that's less nice. Joliff! I've recently arrived here from the Ten Towns of Icewind Dale. It is a long trek, but I wanted to get the most value I could have out of items I've collected up north. But Katna is known to be the richest city in all of Faerun, so I knew that there would be adventurers about with the amount of coin I was looking for. Would you like to have a look at my wares? Yes, please. So yes, what does he have? Ooh, a Wakashi. Trained wisdom each round for two rounds from each hit. Neat. Otherwise it's a plus three. Uh, let's see, stuff. Oh yes, I remember this one. This is a very good flail. Gives one defense, actually. If you, I think I made a dual wielding uh, 
guy that do wields flails that had that one as his side weapon. There's a plus three dagger that does kill damage. That might be worth. Oh wait, a ninja too. Oh, that's also scimitar. One extra attack per round. Hit target for six points of poison damage per round. That's really good. Wow. Use it by lawful evil, lawful good, or no, oh, it needs to be lawful, lawful monks. Interesting. But nothing for our group. Maybe, maybe the sling. Sing fast, uh, treat us. Plus five for the turn where they can hit, uh, they can damage. Wow. That's an amazing flail. 35,000. No. It will basically eat up all our saved money. No, no, no. We don't use flails that much. But that half makes me tempted to make a flail build. Oh well. So what I'm thinking, uh, quest-wise, we still have that thing in uh, Umar Hills, that mystery to solve. I say we I head on out me. there and go and solve that dark mystery. Maybe we can earn a bit more coin along the way. So, Umar Hills, that's uh, all the way, yeah, this, we have the temple ruins already. I think um, we want to see how uh, things are going with the mayor and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's dark again. Oh, little wench! I have a mighty appetite this night! Ah. Uh, a situation with which I'm all too familiar. Aye, well. Perhaps you can help me out with this. See, I've been craving something specific. Oh, sorry. I skipped over that. I already see the words dark meat. This is going the right way. And what is that? Meat. Dark meat, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Perhaps we could come up with an arrangement? Oh, I. I am also craving something. Oh, I, I just bet yeah. And when I crave something, I lose control. I can't get enough of it. I like the sound of that. I'm unstoppable. I drink and I drink until my cup is empty. Your cup? Oh, Dankert, whatever I'm drinking out of, how much do you weigh? Oh, past it, my mouth is getting sensitive. Oh! I've never tasted dwarven blood before. I'm used to larger meals. I wonder how much blood you could spare, and if it's as delicious as you make it seem, whether I could stop myself before I drain you dry. I am... Uh, still want a taste of this dark meat? Give me some time, I'll have to think about that one. You do that. Uh -huh, feisty. So let's have a word with uh, the mayor, actually. If he's back, yes, do the I mayor's have to back. Do all the work. Is there, is there something you need? Well, I, I've spoken with the um, um, with Maldov. They seem to, they just want to seem to live in peace, and in exchange, we'll have someone to protect us. And the. Uh, Merchant are looking forward to it too. Murder wants to come into town and purchase um, supplies and things. That should be quite a sight. Uh, but uh, thank you, Skizny. I wouldn't have thought of negotiating with those creatures. This better. This will be better for Imsville all round. Yay! Things are happy now. You owe me. And we're actually going to go to Maldov because Maldov has. Uh, so must take a very driven man to lead his life always on the road. Well, that's the type of man I am. Very, very driven by quite single-minded desires for money. Yes, well, I notice the type of man that you are. Intense, determined, strong, 
all qualities that I have grown to like most in Kumbluf uh, exits. Exist? Exist? Yes. I'm wondering what Kumbluf is. I'm, I'm troubling over that word. The most Kumbluf exist in you. Oh, it's also a very strange word for Skid. Does Kumbluf mean outsider? I thought you didn't like the qualities of Nandrau from the previous talk. That is true for the most part, but I look upon you and I see a great drive and determination. This is something the elfin folk do not possess. Our lives are long and, s and our, li our long lives are static. We feel no urgency. Despite appearance, we become complacent. If the drow had drive, it would be the second age of conquest now. So, yes, I actually have installed a mod that allows me to romance uh, Viconia, but normally elves cannot romance Viconia. It's because, yes, he has kind of some negative views of, uh, well, especially surface elves, but her fellow drow as well. But I wanted the option, so I installed a mod for it, so. And honestly, Skizzy isn't that elven, really. I mean, the way he acts and there. Uh, well, supposedly he grew up in Gorion's age, which would be 20 years, so there's something very strange going on. Probably the ball blood. Ball blood would probably do some strange things. Well, I'm glad you approve of uh, my age of uh, business conquest. Yes, it's unfortunate that uh, the good traits of most Kulbluth are held in pale li little lives, no longer than a firefly. Here and there they flicker and then die a sad death. Well, and uh, you could try a little bit of humanity yourself. I have this flesh armor you could try. Ha! <laughs> Your sentiment is simple, the philosophy of a kitten. If I gazed into your ear, I would see I would see aught but the gelatinous and cowardly goo within. Laughable. And ending with an insult, of course. And yes, uh, well, sexual tensions all around, I guess. So, Maldiv. Yes, we were going towards Maldiv. Maldiv has something in store for us. Hello there, Maldiv. You dumb ogre, you. Maldiv, pleased to see you, elf. Human village sent message. We speak soon and trade. Maldiv and fellow protect village. They like. Maldiv and fellows owe you much. We can stay and be left alone here. So good! Here, I've shield to give you. It's magic from Silithus army. We know use. Maybe you like. Not of remember though. Uh, did I skip something again? Uh, oh, here we go. Not of also be thinking about what you say. That humans kill just like murder fellows. Very bad. Bad things about this place. Murder remember though. Murder sees something happen uh, in Cabin, west of Human Village. Cabin that wants to belong to uh, Marilla Ranger. Murder thinks. Murder see from the distance. See small man fighting giant wolf. Wolf with arms and legs. It is evil. Murder knows. And Maldiv sees Wolf kill the man. Then Maldiv run. And, uh, but maybe you go to cabin and see if Wolf's still there. Maybe, maybe not. But Maldiv see and remember, Wolf could be part of badness all round. That's all Maldiv think for now. You go now and Maldiv gives you his Yankees. Yep. Yes, I need to look at its uh, mouse button. It's flickering or something. So let us see. What do we have here? This is a nice medium shield. And if we identify it... Shield of the Lost plus two. It's a plus two shield and it gives magic resistance. Now what I'd like to do is give this one to Viconia. 
because Viconia already has some uh, magic resist beacon draw and this just stacks with it. So if you equip Viconia right, she is basically immune to spells by the end of the game and that is very handy. Okay, Especially if you start okay. to find big bad mages with instant death spells. But yes, we know uh, we know that um, all the adventures, are, all the crews are sending us to a temple, a temple ruin in the nearby woods of this place. So I guess we will follow along. Yes, the temple ruins are over there. Yes. Ah, yeah, I understand it. Sorry to bother you with your petty concerns, but I have translated some of the Nether Scrolls. Hmm. Ancient magic at my fingertips and more yet to decipher. It has been a good day. What are you staring at? I've had my say. Back to your little quest or whatever. Nice interruption, Edwin. But it does level you up. Oh, and someone died over there. Please, not too many. Ah! Weird things going on. So we were leveling Edwin up. Uh, he gets level 6 spells. Does he already have, have level 6 spells memorized? Yes, quite a few actually. Uh, mislead is very handy. Conjure is very cool if you set it up right. I don't like that much setup. So, Chain Lightning is a good damage spell. I think we'll put another mislead here. And we will add... Uh, hmm, I like Wyvern Skull. It's a nice instant uh, summon spell. Oh, and we have one more spell here. Let's um, breach. Definitely breach. Breach is important. And stone skin. Stone skin is very. Uh, we're actually going to remove one of these and add another stone skin in. There we go. Uh, with two removes magic, I'm going to add a other dispel magic. Counter magics are very important when you go and deal with the bigger mages, clerics, and all that. Uh, horror. Should I put Albert as a scorcher in here? No, actually, invisibility. And over here, we can put in another magic missile. Very good. And since this is all dark woods, and I can tell you it's going to stay dark woods for a while, we're going to remove her cloak for a bit. Very I well. believe, yeah, I believe she can't be hurt by, uh, there's no sun yeah. here. Even though it's already early day, but no, it's still dark. Mm, that's odd. Yes! Burn them all! Burn the nature! Yes, that'll fix it all! I like Gorgon! Oh! You are not steal! Or oh, actually, it's a wolf. You will not steal my vengeance! And there's a bunch of shadows attacking us again. No mercy for the oh, wolf! shadows and power. You know what? That little sword is appropriate for uh, Hexat. It's blood red and all that. So she ran in here. Fine, fine. Best you make peace with your demons before I send you to meet them. Man things! Curse you! Curse the whales! Can a wolf not enjoy her last meal in peace? We've come to put an end to your evil worm, you wolves, and you preyed on the last innocent and all that. Actually, no. Disgusting fiend. Make peace with the world, for you will soon die. Empty flesh. I get very willing to my doom. I wish only to avenge my fate. Let my pack go uh, up my pack by destroying the Shade Lord. Explain yourself. Who is this Shade Lord? And what has he done with your pack? This place was not always like this. Floating in false and holy darkness, it began only a short time ago. The ruins on the East Den have long been a place of foreboding for my pack and me. We have no desire to tread on the grounds of the Fallen Temple. 
The temple was once dedicated to Amenator, the god of the sun. A great prophetess was buried within. It was holy ground once. Now, though now it has been fouled. It is obvious that Amenator's power has waned. Yes, it's logical that Amenator's power waned, because Amenator is, uh, in most uh, senses of the word, dead. For if, if uh, this word is still consecrated ground, my doom would have never arisen from the bowels of this temple. Ah, would you go on now? Some weeks ago, muted ramblings were heard beneath the temple. We paid little heed to them until the sky darkened and the shadows deepened. It was high noon when it happened. My back, back gathered so I might calm them. I thought it would be an eclipse. It was not. The Shade Lord came amongst us then. He dominated my wolves, my children, with a glance. And I changed form to le and leaped at the darkness, but he merely laughed. Enough, he said. Bend to my will and you, sh you shall be the means of my revenge. He walked among us, the terrified wolf, and killed them all with a touch. Once they were all dead, his darkness reached out to, out to the corpses of my children and animated them as shade wolves, numb with terror and sorrow. I ran. I have hidden these last few weeks from the shade that once were my wolves, from the darkness that creeped out from a temple that once imprisoned the shade lord. I will hide no longer, though. This man I killed only to gather my strength to face the shade lord. He wants only to kill, and those he kills, be they man thing or wolf, arise as shades in his army. Will you now allow this revenge, or do I have to fight you as well? Well, if you wish to go and kill the shade lord, I'll not stop you, so long as uh, you die in the end. I'll go face him now. If you value the pitiful man thing of him, man things of him, this bill, you will follow me to temple and kill him if I fail. Good hunting. And there goes the apparently f somewhat friendly werewolf. What type of cloak is this? Uh, I think I remember this one. Yes, this is the cloak that allows you to turn into a wolf. That's an old item from Baldur's Gate 1. By this point, it's honestly quite useless. I suppose it's a really good uh, thing for Jahira to wear since all druidic magic magics and stuff. And some jammies. Right, okay. Let's loot this. I think this cave might disappear. And let's go find that dark temple and kill a shade lord or something. Death and taxes. My power will be inevitable. Very well. At least we won't have to worry about uh, Hexat uh, burning up in the sun. So Hexat probably is actually against stopping the shade lord, I imagine. And she is a weird vampire yeah, lady. Oh. And more shade wolf. I wonder if I could put the uh, battle cries to sell them. They, they, I do like to keep them, but uh, oh no no no! I want to have that and sell them. Uh, no no, it just happens. Okay, I do want to keep the battle cries as I find some of them quite amusing like for the glory no you die and we have more shade well after dealing with those devil shades in the uh, tombs of Hexat these just seem pitiful this is all really supernaturally dark here and the woods creak a lot must be a windy night or day, actually. But there is no sun. Black hole sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? Of 
shadows or something. I think something attacked us. I keep hearing them. Oh, there they are. More wolves. All too easy. Does the shadow wolf really aren't threatening anymore? Hello there, you foolish beasts. We are the murderer. We are the light brigade with vampires. The reverse inquisition, I guess. This wood still is quite a maze. You can see them being quite terrifying if you get lost in here. And you are one of the characters and rather not the disembodied uh, person hanging above them like a god. Ah! This looks like a building, yes. I guess these must be the temple grounds. Next switch. Yeah, there's more of them. Nothing but die! Next way. Uh, actually, that's a hero use for Fine, fine. We still need to buy a You're good scimitar or something for her. Yeah? But I think she still can't hurt these shadows. Uh, oh. There's a lot of them now. Okay, I think this might be a little bit scary. Oh, yes. Here. Uh, we need some help for uh, Jaira. She's getting a bit overrun. Uh oh. Uh, vampire got strength drained, eh? Oh, he's strong. And that's strong. Yes, these shadow drain strength. If uh, strength goes too low, you actually die and turn into a shadow yourself. The fountain's filled with a dark, thick liquid. It reeks of death and decay. Oh, Shadow Wolfies. That's cute. Hey, stop biting the hero! She's more wolfy than you are. Skizzy! Oh, wait, uh, that's, that, uh, that's Skizzy's voice. Skizzy! It's a trap! Use a mirror! I want left of a crystal to, uh, to get out light is to avenge my back! And she dies. And more shadows appear. And I believe they will keep appearing. A skull breaker. Pay with your lives. And so far, this is. Uh, uh oh, this is dangerous, though. Uh, A skull breaker. We have uh, Jahira being paralyzed. That's Tell always a dangerous that. problem. No mercy for those who oppose us! So I seem to remember that the uh, shadows would uh, keep coming in endless hordes, but uh, maybe they change that? That's a shame. The, the, the whole swarms and swarms of shadow that kept coming was actually kind of a scary moment, I remember, uh, when I was younger. Oh well, do it's still on the light still. Lost gas is room to catch us uh, weak light so that the uh, dark and gem puts forth. You could arrange the paint in such a manner that it would reflect all the lights if you so wished. We turn the paint to the past gas. It reflects the lights uh, from the gem and brights in the area. Did you owe me? And now shadows that approach. Let us have them approach. We'll die in the light! Ooh, how nice! Anyways, I think next episode we will delve deeper into these uh, dungeons, these catacombs of the ancient temple that have now been turned into a temple of darker shadow. I wonder if uh, my party doesn't like that. I mean, we have a priestess of Shar and a uh, vampire. I mean, they all love darkness. Yes, we are ladies of the dark. Anyways. I'll stop now as I'll keep rambling. Good night.